Okay, uh, question number two uh, is on proteins. And uh, the first uh, question is uh, asking you to state the name uh, given to the sequence of amino acids in a protein molecule. Uh, that's going to be the uh, primary structure. Now, there were a variety of other answers to this. Uh, none of them were correct. It had to be the primary structure because that is the only thing um, that is the sequence of amino acids. Okay, I think some people put uh, alpha helix or beta pleated sheet. That's not correct. Um, yes, those do contain amino acids, but um, they have formed different structures. Uh, so it, it, it's no longer the primary structure. Okay, so be careful there about your definitions for the different foldings of the proteins. Okay, the next one is to draw a general structure of an amino acid. So you need a central carbon. Um, coming off that, you need another carbon, which forms the uh, carboxyl group. The central carbon will have an R group at the top and a hydrogen at the bottom. Now, the way the whether the R is on the top or the bottom doesn't matter as long as you've got those in. Uh, the next one uh, would be a nitrogen attached to the central carbon, which has two hydrogens, which would be the uh, amine uh, group. So. Um, you had one mark for the correct positions of the carboxyl group and the uh, amino group. Okay, and then the third mark was the, the correct groups attached to this central carbon. Right, collagen now. Um, state one property of collagen that makes it a useful component of blood vessel cell walls um, the the answer there really was strength okay that's the function or the property of collagen that's important no matter where it is located because of course collagen can be found in ligaments and tendons and the strength is important uh, when it's in those structures as well um, describe the structure of the collagen molecule. Now, uh, this was a, a, a big marker, this. It was six marks, okay, and uh, it wasn't done totally well, uh, this one. So I just want to go through the, the bullet points of the main uh, features of the structure of collagen, okay. So the first thing uh, to mention is that it is a triple helix structure. Okay, so triple helix, uh, that just means it has three helical structures. Now you can have another mark linked with this though, they have to be linked. To say that there are three polypeptide chains. Okay, so that would be a, a second mark. Okay. Um, the other one to say is that even though it's a helix, it's actually a left handed uh, helix which is different um, to the alpha helix uh, and it's different to the DNA helix as well. Okay, so it coils in a left-hand direction. Um, the next one is that you have cross links Uh, between uh, polypeptide chains ok 
Okay, so you get uh, these three left-handed helices joining together and ultimately when they are all joined together uh, it forms a fibril okay which is incredibly uh, strong okay um that is one two three four that would be five marks but there are other things you should know about cellulose as well is that it contains a large number of glycine amino acids now the reason why is that glycine is one of the simplest um, amino acids uh, it has a very small R group okay and that allows uh, the very tight coiling so this is a left hand helix it allows this tight coiling to occur within the polypeptide chain so for a second or an additional mark you can say that it has a small R group okay and then that um, allows Um, a coil to form okay so the uh, the R group do doesn't get in the way of the coiling of the polypeptide chain um, right that's the um, the main um, marking points but they would have allowed as well uh, in this case that um, the amino acids are joined by peptide bonds okay so there's the um, uh, the marks for the structure of collagen Right, next then uh, is about haemoglobin. Uh, state one fu function of haemoglobin. Well, that's the transport uh, of oxygen. Now, haemoglobin does have other properties and functions, and you'll learn about those in Unit 2. Right, haemoglobin contains a prosthetic group known as heme. Collagen, collagen does not contain a prosthetic group. Describe three other ways in which the structure of haemoglobin differs from that of collagen. Okay, so um, the first thing to say is that uh, haemoglobin is globular. Okay, it's, uh, it's soluble. Okay, that's, that's why it's globular. Okay, the, the other one is that it has four polypeptide chains. Uh, collagen, of course, has three. Uh, those polypeptide chains as well are different. Okay, um, so you've got two alpha and two beta chains now in uh, collagen the, the the three polypeptide chains are all identical okay <clears throat> so the other one you could have had is within the structure of uh, hemoglobin um, it would form uh, an alpha helix and of course in collagen you have the the, the left-handed helix okay um, there are a few more other things uh, you could have put just quickly with haemoglobin it has a, a, a large range of different amino acids that make up uh, the polypeptide chains in collagen there's just a very limited number of different amino acids uh, mostly 
the amino acids in collagen have these small uh, R groups to allow the coiling and twisting of the molecule. Okay, um, that's, I think that is question two done. Yes, okay. So, um, with this question, make sure you look over the, uh, the structure of collagen because that question in particular wasn't done as well as I would have liked. Any questions on it, of course, you can come and see me.